Are you certain you haven't made a mistake? Your Majesty, how he enters is of no importance. How he answers is. We must give him no opportunity for speeches. Will your Majesty approve our procedure of uh, interrogation? You have his books? Yes, Your Majesty. All of them. Martin Luther, his sacred and invincible majesty has cited you before his throne to answer certain questions. Two in number, and only two. The first question, do you admit these are your writings? Yes, they are mine. His imperial majesty's second question then is, Will you, Martin Luther, persist in what you have written? Or are you prepared to retract these writings and the beliefs they contain? Most gracious emperor, princes, lords, I came here prepared for debate, not for interrogation. Dr. Luther, reply to the question. Will you or will you not recant what you have written? I do not understand this procedure. Recant? Am I not to be heard? You have heard His Majesty's question. He is waiting for your answer. My answer? You should not ask me to deny in one moment the work of many years. Dr. Luther! Therefore, most gracious Majesty, I beg, give me time. Give me more time. His gracious majesty grants your request. You will return to this same place tomorrow. Prepared to answer.
I ask pardon if I lack the manners that befit this court. I was not brought up in king's palaces, but in the seclusion of a cloister. I am asked to retract these writings, but they are of different kinds. In some I discuss faith and good works. If I were to retract these, I should be denying accepted Christian truths. In others, I attack popery and assail men who have afflicted the Christian world and ruined the bodies and souls of other men. If I were to retract those, I should be like a cloak that covers evil. Most serene emperor, illustrious princes, noble lords, I am only a man and not God. But I must defend myself as did Jesus Christ when he said, as I say now, if I have spoken evil, bear witness against me. Martin Luther, you have not yet answered the question. Give us a simple answer. Will you recant or will you not? You ask for a simple answer. Here it is. Unless you can convince me by scripture and not by popes or councils who have often contradicted each other, unless I am so convinced that I am wrong, I am bound to my beliefs by the texts of the Bible. My conscience is captive to the word of God. To go against conscience is neither right nor save. Therefore, I cannot and I will not recant. Here I stand. I can do no other. God help me. Amen. <laughs>